Microsoft Racing Windows 11 24H2 System Requirements to Block CPUs Without SSE 4.2 and Pop CNT. A couple of days ago, we reported about a recently discovered Windows 11 24H2 system bypass trick that works on non LAP. SC systems too. Thought it was initially thought to work only on LTSC PCs. However, if you want to use the trick above or some of the other ones available out there to bypass the Windows 11 42H2, eligibility check on some really old systems like those sporting Intercore 2 Duo to AMD Atlum, then you are going to be out of luck. Uh, Microsoft recently stressed it did not block a Windows Terminal on such old CPUs on purpose and there were no conspiracy theories about it. However, it does look more and more like the CPU block on the upcoming 24H2 Windows 11 version is delivered. For those who may not have been following the situation, enthusiasts noticed that the Windows 11 24H2 insiders built from back in February were blocking very old and separate CPUs from bypassing the check at the start of setup. No bypass method would be stopped in their tracks from working on such old PCs. Later on, Microsoft also added a message that said this PC's processor doesn't support a critical feature. Pop CNT, such that users could understand what was leading to the block. Pop CNT, short of for population count, is an integral instruction that helps count the number of ones in a binary representation. Now, a near build 26080 seems to raise to block a CPUs without. SSE 4.2 are also unable to boot into Windows 11. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> something like this was expected considering Microsoft in a previous build 26063 had cutely added SSE 4.2 to the list of compatibility blocks and it looks like the implementation is now going into testing with some of the latest Windows 11 preview builds.